Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Keep It Real. I am back with another video for you all. And I recently came across this story on Hollywood Unlocked. And it goes on to talk about a mother who reported a son missing back in March of this year. Um, recently found out that her son was buried in an unmarked grave after being hit by a patrol car. So before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Let's Keep It Real. And uh, remember, everything that we discuss is allegedly, and it is strictly for entertainment purposes. So a Mississippi mother uh, reported a son missing in March, learned that he was buried in an unmarked grave after a police officer struck him while he was crossing an interstate highway. Bernstein, excuse me, Betterstein Wade uh, last saw her son Dexter Wade, 37, on the evening of March 5th early this year when he left home with a friend and reported him missing after he didn't return home for a few days. Several months after his disappearance, Betterstein told NBC News that she learned that Dexter died less than an hour after he left her home and was hit by a Jackson police car. Guys, this is so sad. This is very sad. Um, police reportedly knew his name and hers, but didn't contact her. Instead, his body was left unclaimed for months in a city morgue. Wow. Earlier this month, Betterstein was informed about her son's location at the Hines County Penal Farm. So he was basically placed in, you know, a grave where other individuals that were, you know, that were placed, you know, when... They basically pass away in a system is what it's looking like and went to the site with her daughter. A sheriff's deputy directed the women to Dexter's final resting place, a grave marked under number 672. Wow, this is very insultful. The grieving mother told the news outlet that her son was known as a sweet little boy who liked nice clothes, loved computers, and wanted to run his own business refurbishing cars. Also, he had two daughters, uh, Janelle and Jocelyn, with his girlfriend Candace Thomas. The relationship ended after um, his stints in prison, but he was present in his daughter's lives. Uh, as they would spend summers with him at Betterstein's home. Thomas said prison took a toll on his mental health and he was diagnosed with schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. Wow. Um, Betterstein noticed her son's behavior and illegal drug use decrease once he started taking medications. He would help out around the house and hand food to people in streets. Uh, plus he rarely left a home for more than a day. So, you know, he basically was a homebody, um, after, you know, serving time in prison and developing mental illness, uh, over the years. On the day of her son's disappearance, Betterstein said she and Dexter argued over a broken window after she returned home from work. He left with a friend around 7.30 p.m., but she hesitated to call the police days after he went missing. She noted that her, she noted that her mother uh, told her not to call the police because of their lack of involvement in Jackson. Uh, this is what she said. My mama told me they're not going to do anything, but I had to do something to find Dexter. And I thought that was the best way. A report from the medical examiner's office revealed Dexter suffered blunt injuries and had PCP and methamphetamines in his system when he passed. Weeks before locating his grave site, Betterstein paid $250 to claim his body. Wow. The family plans to get Dexter out of the grave site and to proper uh, and to a proper grave so loved ones can pay their respects. This is sad, guys. So was there any charges brought up against the individual who, you know, did hit him? And, you know, and I hope she's going to basically sue because, I mean, you know, money's not going to fix everything. But, yes, they definitely need to be sued. And some people need to be let go off of that force because this is, you know, unacceptable. And, you know, the drugs in his system and everything. You, can we really believe that, to be honest, considering what happened? You know, it's just a thought, allegedly, guys. But uh, let me know what you think about this sad story. You know, this mom had her son that been, had been, you know, had his ups and downs in life and life and everything and was on drugs at one time and then got off drugs. And, you know, he passed suddenly by, it, it was an accident, obviously it was an accident, but to cover it up was even worse. But, uh, this is, yeah, this is horrible guys, but let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to Let's Keep It Real. And I'll see you all soon with another video.